Good afternoon everybody, it's David Schlothauer here with another detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion for Wednesday, October the 23rd, 2024. Now in this update, we are keeping an eye on the Central and Northwestern Caribbean for late October, early November, as some of our models are beginning to indicate that we could have significant tropical development potentially out of a Central American gyre that develops beyond the 30 and the 31st of October through the first week of November. So just like I did in yesterday's video, here's a look at the latest GOES-16 RGB satellite imagery provided by CyclonicWX.com over the Caribbean. And as we can see here, there is not a whole lot of activity to worry about, not much thunderstorms or deep convection, maybe a couple of bursts here and there, but this is all going to change by very late October around Halloween timeframe into the first full week of November. In fact, the tropics are looking very quiet over the next five to seven days according to our latest seven-day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida, highlighting that tropical cyclone activity is not expected over the next seven days, which is good. But I'm warning you all right now, weatherman, Plus and me are keeping an eye on this area in the Caribbean for the potential for something to form up very late October, early November. Now, with that being said, here's a look at your latest GFS model. This is your tropical weather forecast outlook over the next seven plus days. We're gonna look out maybe to 10 days in this video because the GFS model is sniffing out at least one name storm potentially that could develop. Again, could, I wanna really emphasize that in this video because there's a lot of uncertainty between deterministic model runs and different model types out there. But looking at the GFS model, here is what is really left with Oscar, more like a frontal like system right now. You saw that on satellite really not going to cause any problems at all and going over the next say five days nothing much going on in the deep tropics there of the Caribbean however we are starting to see signs of this monsoonal gyre slowly taking shape you can see the surface low pressure there of 1,008 millibars to the south there uh, and over the southern portion of the Caribbean. But watch what happens here. By day seven, this is for Wednesday morning on the 30th of October, there's going to be a lot of enhanced rainfall that does develop over the Bahama Islands. Turks and Caicos, Grand Bahama, Great Albacoe, you get the idea, all these islands up over here, likely to get some moderate to heavy rainfall, some showers, some thunderstorms, that sort of thing. And then look at what goes on down here. An area of low pressure does end up developing over there near Jamaica. And I'm going to warn you all right now, what you're about to see is definitely some fantasy land on the GFS. That's right, I did say fantasy land GFS. Looking at the GFS model for Thursday morning on Halloween, yes, for the 31st of October, there is your low pressure center that does try to develop here. And surprisingly enough, we might have some minor development up here near Florida. What in the name of GFS are you on? Now, unfortunately, Jamaica could get impacted by this if the GFS ends up being correct. But we all know that this is about nine to 10-ish days out. This is for the 1st of November, and we have a tropical storm, or if not, a hurricane direct impacting Jamaica. Do not panic. Don't be scared. Please be prepared, folks, because again, this is not a set in stone model. GFS likes to do this. This time of the year, it tries to make these systems really intense from a Central American gyre standpoint, but it is worth noting that the GFS has been onto something for a while. In fact, it's been showing it for a while now. Let's take a look at the last several model runs from the GFS. This is the 12Z run, so this is about four or five hours old. But when we look at the previous run, shows that same system, but only a little bit further to the north east and then going back another run it's still kind of in the general vicinity near jamaica going back another run you can just see how it's moving all over the place so this is not a set in stone forecast and until we get a coherent system that develops the gfs is going to show one scenario that is the worst case possible and it's not going to show anything on the next run or so um, and so this is going back and forth quite elaborate, but it's been indicating something here 
for early November for a while now, and you can see that here well illustrated on the latest GFS model run. Wait a second, the 18Z model run is just coming in, and you can still see there's a system down here that does try to develop to the south of Jamaica, but looking at the previous run, it was a little weaker. This run, it's a little more stronger. So uh, by the end of this video, we may have to look at this to see what it's showing, but boy, it's not looking very good at all. This has been a little bit more consistent with the area of low pressure that does try to develop down here and this is the more bullish run as of now and this is seven days out by the way seven days out but by november 2nd on saturday morning this is the furthest that i will go out because the gfs model is indicating something more serious than not on this particular run but if it continues we may have to go a little further out in time but we'll try to keep this more conservative for you all that are watching this and you can see here in the next 10 days it is still down there near jamaica and south eastern and southern cuba but what does the european model show well i'll tell you what right now doesn't show anything and i can prove that to you all right now in the 12z run from the euro showing virtually nothing at all this is out to beyond five days out this is day seven right here just in a broad area of low pressure that does try to develop down here and then going forward nothing Nothing! I'm telling you folks right now, the GFS shows this, the European model shows this. And that's a taste of uncertainty for you all. Now on to our ensemble forecast from the GEFS model. You can see that it's showing this right now, not much going on out there over the next five days. But as we go out to day seven, you can see there is a more consolidation of areas of low pressure that do try to develop. And orange means there is some confidence that an area of low pressure does develop down here to the south of Jamaica. I wanna really make it clear here that while this is pretty far out right now, there is some model signal. There are things that are suggesting that something comes together together down here and I got of course this is the time of the year late October early November historically speaking we usually get a little bit of increase in tropical activity in the Central American gyre this is what we call our last dose of tropical activity before the season really closes out and what it really shows is this orange area really gets going uh, right over Jamaica. So there is the potential here that some of these models, some of these members actually are down to as low as 939 millibars. We got a 905 millibar member on the GF, GEFS, one of their members going very, very crazy near Jamaica. And so anything in orange here is there is definitely some signal here being picked up on the ensemble showing some development is looking very much possible. Uh, but not likely, but possible for right now. And then as this goes further to the north, just after the 10-day period, you can see some members over here, some members over here. And so we just don't know who and where and when this is gonna be impacting anyone. But for right now, we just gotta look at signals. Another way we could clear up some confusion is looking at the GEFS Spaghetti Ensemble forecast. And anything in red here is virtually a hurricane or stronger. So you can see some members here indicating hurricane intensity near or over some of the islands here of say Cuba, Jamaica, and portions of Western um, Dominican Republic. Some members even bring it over here into the northwestern portion. And I want to really make it clear, I'm not going to show it in this video. Upper ocean heat content in this area is exceptionally high, unforeseenable in this area. And so for the time being, um, we really do got to watch this. This thing could strengthen very quickly before it rams into um, Cuba, Jamaica, even the Cayman Islands, or even, say, portions there of the Dominican Republic. We just don't know where this is going to go, but we do know there is a signal here that something could develop by very late October, like on Halloween and beyond. Even the European Ensemble is starting to get a little bit more aggressive. This is the latest 12Z output put on the EPS showing us that there's one member here can't believe one member right but it gives us a general idea that the GFS may be onto something and the euro is starting to pick up on this too on the ensemble but not on the operational deterministic but some of these members 
are showing tropical storm intensity at least for right now, but that could go up a little bit. And one member brings us right over Jamaica. Hopefully this does not happen, but if it does, you need to be ready be prepared, don't be scared. Now, when it comes to forecasting this Central American gyre, we can get some help out with our atmosphere across the rest of the globe. This is a look at the CHI, which stands for Convective Helicity Index. And this is at 200 millibars above the atmosphere. So we're looking at the upper level velocity potential, in other words. And so areas in green here are upward motion. There's divergence aloft, lower pressure at the surface. We get thunderstorms, we get rain. This is what we call the, the enhancement of thunderstorms. All right, and then your brown areas indicate suppressive phase. So you can see since the 3rd of October, how the sinking motion has moved over Central America and over the Atlantic, follow me on this. And, but yeah, we got um, Oscar, we got Nadine that formed in that suppressive phase. But guess what? We have another round of the MJO coming around the corner here as we go into late October. And you can see by the last day of, or near the last day of October, you can see the, um, the convective um, helicity index goes green. We see a lot of upward motion start to increase on top of a convective coupled Kelvin wave and the MJO, which stands for Mad and Julian Oscillation. These are different uh, variables in um, the atmosphere, interseasonal guidance that shows us that it is going to become pretty favorable. That part with um, upward motion, the MJO, and a convective coupled Kelvin wave could get things rolling pretty quickly in the Caribbean. But that's not where it ends. Here's a look at the European Ensemble Prediction System. This is a hov molar diagram showing us that in time, the, um, the, the further down you go on this chart, the later we get. So this goes all the way out through November the 7th, as you can see here. By the way, I'm having a early birthday celebration before I do go on vacation on the 15th of November. I'm hoping the tropics will settle down by then, but we can't always keep our fingers crossed. Hope is not enough sometimes. And we can see all of this green area right here is upward motion in the atmosphere. And boy, I'm telling you right now, that's an awful a lot of upward motion. One impulse right here, that's what might give us that name system initially by early November. And then more upward motion, favorable environment coming by the first full week of November. So we really do have, to, we can't ignore this. We cannot, and that's why I'm doing updates on this now. Back to the everyday in the tropics kind of deal and kind of laying back on the US updates right now on the weather. And then all the sinking motion is superimposed onto this La Nina. And I'm telling you, we could have one or two named storms, perhaps maybe even three named storms out of this. Does not surprise me at all. Even the GFS is agreeing on this. This is the ensemble from the GEFS uh, model. And it's showing us all of this upward motion beyond the 1st of November, all the way through, perhaps through the middle of November. I really hope the GFS is wrong right about in here because if I, if there's a hurricane making landfall somewhere, I will not be able to go live for those two days. I will be in Santa Cruz on Friday afternoon on the 15th of November, and I will be coming back that Sunday on the 17th of November. So it's only a two day trip. It's a little vacation that I need to take for my birthday. Sometimes you just have to have time away from being in the office. And so I'm hoping right in here, we do not have any landfalls because if we do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now, if you found this video really helpful, detailed and informative, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your family and friends on social media. You guys are awesome. I do appreciate all the shares that we got in the video yesterday. We got 15 shares. We had almost 400 likes. So if you guys haven't liked this video yet and shared it, please do so. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm to recommend this to a much larger audience because we will keep you updated here on the channel, on the tropics until further notice as we are keeping an eye on this area in the Caribbean. Until next time, I'll be back with you more tomorrow.